Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Revision. Now let us see high yield previous year's questions of radiology. Before starting, let me know how many are you are following the schedule in the comment box. After completing every subject, try to listen previous year's questions which boosts up your revision. It doesn't take even half an hour also. Okay, now let us continue with the topic. Hemolytic anemia, most common in thalassemia, hair on and appearance on x-ray. Raised ICT, silver or copper beaten appearance on x-ray. Growing fracture, skull in pediatric patient with trapped leptomeninges on x-ray. Isnophilic granuloma, geographic lytic lesion with beveled edge on x-ray. Multiple myeloma, punched out lytic lesion on x-ray. Hyperparathyroidism, salt and pepper or mottled skull on x-ray. Pseudo delta sign is seen in acute SAH on non-contrast CT scan due to outline of venous sinus. Periventricular calcification, CMV infection, diffuse nodular pattern, toxoplasmosis, subependymal calcified nodules, tuberous sclerosis, candle dripping appearance, bracket calcification, corpus callosal lipoma, tram track appearance, SWS, Strauss Weber syndrome, starry sky pattern, neurocysticercosis. Most common intraaxial brain tumor to show calcification is oligodendroglioma, beaded string of pearls, chronic pancreatitis. Chain of lake sign, dilated pancreatic duct with stenosis, chronic pancreatitis, double duct sign on ERCP, dilated CBD and pancreatic duct, carcinoma pancreas, Fleshner sign, narrow filling defect in terminal ileum plus pulled up cecum, increased ileocecal angle from 90 to 120 degree, hyperplastic intestinal TB, punched out lesion in skull, multiple myeloma. Hylar dance on fluoroscopy, ASD, cow and sabot or boot shaped hat, TOF, antler or mustache sign, double atrial shadow, straightening of left heart border, mitral stenosis, snowman or figure of eight appearance, non obstructive TAPVC, ground glass appearance of lung field, obstructive TAPVC, apple core appearance, carcinoma colon in barium enema. Inverted tree sign of uh, Fosberg and widening of C loop of duodenum. Carcinoma head of pancreas. Claw appearance, barium anima, intersusception. Sawtooth appearance, diverticulosis of colon. Sunburst classification in plain x-ray, insulinoma, flower was appearance, horseshoe kidney, adder or cobra head deformity, ureterocele. Spider leg appearance, polycystic kidney disease, white line of Frankel, Winberger's halo sign, tremor field zone, scurvy, epiphyseal dysgenesis, hypothyroidism, bone within a bone appearance, osteopetrosis, Paget's disease, acromegaly, heavy metal poisoning, banana sign, antenatal USG, refers to a banana shaped configuration of cerebellum associated with neural tube defects. Spalding sign, overlapping cranial sutures, sign of fatal demise on prenatal ultrasound. Tau sign, MRI, persistent trigeminal artery, LMT delta sign, sign of intracranial dural sinus thrombosis on CECT. Eye of the tiger sign, low signal intensity, circumscribing the globus pallidus due to gliosis and spongiosis in patients with haller warden spads syndrome, also known as PKAN. Boxcar ventricles, appearance of frontal horns seen in Huntington's disease. Strawberry skull, appearance of skull that may be seen on fetal ultrasound with trisomy 18. Figure of 8 MRI brain, appearance of the brain in lysencephaly. Mount Fuji sign, CT brain, tension pneumocephalus. Salt and pepper appearance, paraganglioma on MRI. Figure 3 sign chest X-ray, appearance of iota that may be seen in patients with coactation of iota. Comet tail sign, produced by the distortion of vessels and bronchi that leads to an adjacent area of round atelectasis. Bulging fissure sign, Klebsiella pneumonia, egg on string heart, TGA, sitting duck sign, persistent truncus arteriosus, 
scimitar sign mri appearance that may be seen with eccentric cystic adventitial disease bat wing appearance classic chest radiography finding for pulmonary edema finger in glove sign sign of mucus plugging seen with allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis golden s sign right upper lobe atelectasis created by a central mass signet ring sign sign of bronchiectasis sandstorm appearance pulmonary alveolar microlithiasis hamptons ump triangular opacity secondary to infraction in the periphery of the lung distal to a pulmonary embolism snowstorm pattern silicosis ball on t sign sign of papillary necrosis on ivu bowler's hat sign colonic polyp central dot sign sign of carolis disease champagne sign emphysematous cholecystitis tip of the iceberg sign mature cystic teratomas apple core lesion circumferential narrowing of lumen secondary to colon cancer comet sign sign to differentiate a phlebolith from a ureteral stone medusa lock sign roundworm infestation corkscrew esophagus diffuse esophageal spasm and pressed by esophagus paint brush appearance linear striations of contrast material epicifying collecting tubules that may be seen with medullary spongy kidney double track sign appearance of hypertrophic pyloric stenosis that may be seen on upper gi series football sign pneumoperitoneum seen on supine radiographs frostberg's reverse three sign carcinoma head of pancreas lead pipe colon narrowing of colon with loss of hostra that may be seen in patients with ulcerative colitis picket fence pattern appearance of bowl that may be seen on small bowl series with whipel disease or gastrointestinal amyloidosis coffee bean sign sigmoid volvulus molar tooth sign perivesicular extravasation of contrast on ct cystogram in a patient with extraperitoneal bladder rupture cork screw sign upper gi series midgut volvulus nutmeg liver pattern of liver enhancement seen with passive congestion flaring of anterior ends of ribs rickets fragment in notch sign bucket handle tear of the menisci ground glass appearance fibrous dysplasia of bone h shaped vertebra sickle cell disease tumbling bullet sign post traumatic bone cyst trolley track sign ankylosing spondylitis lemon sign spina bifida lace like pattern sarcoid arthropathy caudroy vertebral body appearance of thickening trabeculations seen in vertebral hemangiomas pulka dot sign on ct lacunar skull appearance of skull in chiari to malformation particulate radiations have variable charge and mass while electromagnetic radiations have no charge and mass all electromagnetic rays have same velocity that is velocity of light x rays are extra nuclear in origin gamma rays are intra nuclear in origin wilhelm konrad roentgen a german physicist discovered x rays on november 8 1895 international radiology day 8th november target window is the thinning of glass in lower part of glass envelope which allows x rays to come out of tube most important part of cathode is filament in a bremsthal lung reaction maximum photon energy is numerically equal to the kb bremsthal lung reaction is the most important reaction responsible for x ray production in most of the tube except mammography where photoelectric effect predominates film focal distance is the distance between x ray tube and cassette grid refers to parallel arranged lead strips placed between patient and cassette grid locks scatter radiation from reaching to the film to improve image quality contrast is the ability to see something in relation to the background contrast is influenced by both kvp and mas Contrast is the most important factor to influence contrast is CKVP. The SI unit of a radiation exposure is coulombs per kg. The SI unit for absorbed dose is gray. 
वन ग्रे इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड रैड वन सीवर्ट इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड रेम्स मोस्ट कॉमन रेडिएशन साइड इफेक्ट इज स्किन एरेतमा टी एल डी थर्मोल्यूमिसेंट डोजीमीटर इज अ बैच विच मॉनिटर्स रेडिएशन यूज बाय रेडिएशन वर्कर टी एल डी इज चेकड एवरी थ्री मंथ्स अ सी टी चेस्ट हैज रेडिएशन एक्सपोजर ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड चेस्ट रेडियोग्राफ्स मैमोग्राफी यूजेस लोअर के वी एंड हायर एम ए मैमोग्राफी हैज टेन टू फोर्टी टाइम्स मोर रेडिएशन एक्सपोजर दैन चेस्ट एक्सरे यू एस जी इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पीजो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट लोअर द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ यू एस जी प्रोब बेटर डेप्थ इट प्रोवाइड्स मोर फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ प्रोब ऑफ यू एस जी बेटर विल बी रेजोल्यूशन रियल टाइम बी स्कैंस अलाउ बॉडी स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर मूविंग टू बी इन्वेस्टिगेटेड बी मोड इज द मोस्ट कॉमन यूज मोड ऑफ यू एस जी फ्लूड इज एब्सोल्यूटली ब्लैक ऑन यू एस जी एंड इज टर्म्ड एज एनकोइक ब्लड फ्लो टूवर्ड्स द डॉपलर प्रोब इज सीन एज रेड ब्लड फ्लो अवे फ्रॉम डॉपलर प्रोब इज सीन एज ब्लू सी टी एन ओ ऑल्सो नोन एज हाउंसफील्ड यूनिट इज अ न्यूमरिकल वैल्यू गिवन टू अ टिश्यू डिपेंडिंग ऑन डिग्री ऑफ अटेन्युएशन ऑफ एक्स रे बाय दैट टिश्यू इंक्रीज इन पिच लीड्स टू डिक्रीज इन द स्कैन ड्यूरेशन एंड रेडिएशन बट रेड्यूज द स्कैन क्वालिटी एंड वाइस वर्सा रेडिएशन डोज डिपेंड्स ऑन ट्यूब करेंट स्लाइस स्कैन टाइम एंड ट्यूब पीक किलो वोल्टेज इन्वेंशन ऑफ एम आर आई लाटबर एंड मैंसफील्ड फंक्शनल एम आर आई ओगावा एंड रोजन फैरडे केज और शील्ड ऑल्सो नोन एज हाफ मैन बॉक्स इन एम आर आई ब्लॉक्स आउट एक्सटर्नल स्टैटिक इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड्स फैरडे केज इज मेड अप ऑफ कॉपर मैक्सवेल कॉल इन एम आर आई इज ग्रेडियंट कॉल यूज टू क्रिएट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ग्रेडियंट्स अलॉन्ग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द मेन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड फ्लेर इज अ टी टू वेटेड एम आर आई वेर द वाटर इज सप्रेस्ड टू मेक पैथोलॉजी मोर विजिबल स्टिर इज अ प्रीडोमेंटली यूज एट प्लेसेस वेर फैट इज द कन्फॉर्डिंग फैक्टर एंड लिमिटिंग द कॉन्ट्रास्ट गैडोलीनियम कंटेनिंग कॉम्पाउंड्स आर मोस्ट कॉमन यूज कॉन्ट्रास्ट एजेंट्स इन एम आर आई डी डब्ल्यू आई इज द बेस्ट एम आर आई सीक्वेंस टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन एपिडर्मोइड सिस्ट एंड एरेक्नोइड सिस्ट मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वे टू प्रिवेंट सी आई एन इन एडिक्वेट हाइड्रेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट्स विद आई वी नॉर्मल सलाइन बेरियम सल्फेट इज कॉमनली यूज फॉर रेडियोग्राफिक एवेल्युएशन ऑफ जी आई टी बिकॉज इट इज एन इनर्ट सब्सटेंस एंड नॉट अब्जर्ब्ड फ्रॉम द जी आई टी माइलोग्राफी यूजेस अ रियल टाइम फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स रे कॉल फ्लोरोस्कोपी एंड एन इंजेक्शन ऑफ अ कॉन्ट्रास्ट मटीरियल टू एवेल्युएट द स्पाइनल कॉड नर्व रूट्स एंड स्पाइनल लाइनिंग्स मैनेजेस एम टी थीकल सैक साइन ऑन एम आर आई सीन इन एरेक्नोइडाइटिस एम आर आई इज द टेस्ट डज नॉट इंक्लूड आयोनाइजिंग रेडिएशन जैन सेल ट्यूमर इज अ कंडीशन हैविंग ए सो पबल अपियरेंस सीन इन रेडियल बोन वाटर सॉल्यूबल कॉन्ट्रास्ट इज हायो एक्सॉल एलर्जिक फंगल साइनसाइटिस शोज डबल डेंसिटी अपियरेंस ऑन सी टी गैसलेस एबडोमन इज सीन इन एक्यूट पैंक्रियाटाइटिस बूट शेप्ड हार्ट कॉज राइट वेंट्रिकुलर हाइपरट्रोफी डॉपलर वेव फॉर्म इन पेरिफेरल आर्टीरियल डिजीज इन सिवियर स्टीनोसिस इज मोनोफेसिक रेग्युलर ट्रायड सीन इन गार्लस्टोन इलियस हैज थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स न्यूमोबिलिया स्मॉल बॉल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन एक्टोपिक गार्लस्टोन इमेजिंग टेक्निक्स विच आर नॉट यूज इन यूटरस एनामोलिस इज सी टी गाइडेड एच एस जी साल्ट एंड पेपर पॉट अपियरेंस ऑफ स्काल सीन इन हाइपर पैराथाइरोडिजम ब्रैक पीक एफेक्ट प्रोनाउंसड इन प्रोटोन कॉन्ट्रास्ट ऑफ चॉइस यूज इन डायग्नोसिस ऑफ ईसोफेजियल परफोरेशन इज आयो हेग्सॉल आफ्टर रेडिकल रिसेक्शन ऑफ कॉन्ड्रोमा बेस्ट रेडियोथेरापी इज प्रोटोन एफ डी जी पेट नेगेटिव ट्यूमर इज टिपिकल कार्सिनोइड रेडियोग्राफिक फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ रोमेटाइड आर्थराइटिस जुक्स्ट्रा आर्टिकुलर ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस जॉइंट एरोशंस एंड जॉइंट स्पेस नैरोइंग इन अ सस्पेक्टेड केस ऑफ आइड्रोजेनिक बिलियरी डाक्ट इंजुरी ड्यूरिंग कोलिसस्टेक्टमी बिस्मत क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम इज यूज फॉर असेसमेंट इन डिटेक्शन ऑफ फ्री इंट्रा पेरिटोनियल एंड इंट्रा थोरासिक फ्लूड ई फास्ट प्रोटोकॉल हैज अ हाई स्पेसिफिसिटी एंड सेंसिटिविटी बोथ ओवर नाइंटी परसेंट इन द डिटेक्शन ऑफ रूरल एफ्यूजन और हेमेटोथोरैक्स हीमे, अल्ट्रासाउंड कैन डिटेक्ट इवन द स्मॉलेस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ फ्लूड ट्वेंटी एम एल वेर 
whereas you need 200 ml to detect those pathologies with a chest x-ray. In the right upper quadrant, positive fast result typically appears in Morrison's pouch between the liver and kidney. A negative fast does not exclude intra-abdominal injury after penetrating trauma. If pericardial fluid is suggested, consider the following conditions or anatomy that may produce a false negative interpretation for EFAST. Epicardial fat pads, pericardial cyst, descending iota. Bilateral symmetrical sacroiliitis is the earliest and the most specific feature of ankylosing spondylitis. Enthesitis is the earliest pathological change of ankylosing spondylitis. Diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis, also known as Foster's disease, is a bony hardening of ligaments in areas where they attach to the spine with the preservation of disc height in the involved vertebral segment. Relative absence of significant degenerative changes. Presence of non-marginal syndesmophytes at their three successive levels, four contagious vertebrae, is a characteristic of DISH. Radiographic examination of thoracic spine, particularly 37 to T11, is helpful when attempting to establish a diagnosis of DISH. Lateral cervical radiographs are useful to differentiate DISH from AS, which demonstrate disc space ossification, fusion between vertebral bodies versus anterior bone formation with preservation of disc space seen in DISH. Tramp tack Opacities are seen in cylindrical bronchiectasis and air fluid levels may be seen in cystic bronchiectasis. Visualization of bronchus within 1 cm of the pleural surface, especially in lung adjacent to coastal pleura, is the most helpful sign for early cylindrical change in bronchiectasis. Regular sign pneumoperitoneum air is seen on both sides of the bowel wall. Invert V sign pneumoperitoneum air outlines the lateral umbilical ligament. Cupola sign pneumoperitoneum air outlines the median subphrenic space. In cases of foreign body injury, the initial investigation should be X ray, followed by further investigations if needed. In case of ophthalm ophthalmic injury within the globe, USG can be done instead of X rays as the initial investigation of choice. A ring enhancing lesion when seen with the settings of chronic otoria followed by otalgia, headache and vomiting is associated with the classic scenario of temporal lobe abscess most likely secondary to TSOM and other complications. If the presence of a non-radiopaque foreign body is suspected, contrast enhanced esophagography is indicated. A coin in the esophagus is depicted in the coronal plane of the frontal image because of the inherent configuration of the esophagus. If the coin is in the sagittal plane of the frontal image, the foreign body most likely is in the trachea. The orientation is generally caused by the incomplete circumferential cartilaginous rings along the posterior aspect of the trachea that allows the coin to protrude posteriorly. Radiographs of the spine showing flattened and calcified intervertebral discs are pathognomic for uchronotic arthritis. Fibrosis of the ureteral orifice in bladder TB can lead to stricture formation with hydronephrosis or scarification causing gulf ball appearance on radiographic image with vesicoureteral reflex. The large bowel is located peripherally in the abdomen resembling a picture frame on radiographic investigations. The large bowel has a di large diameter than the small bowel and contains mucosal folds called hostra that do not completely cross the width of the bowel. The small bowel is located centrally in the abdomen, has a smaller diameter and has folds called valvular conventus or plica circularis that traverse the entire width of the bowel. The presence of extraluminal air in an acutely ill patient with abdominal pain is an ominous sign that usually indicates perforation of a hollow viscous. CT abdomen with IV contrast is the preferred imaging modality to confirm the presence of free air within the peritoneal cavity pneumoperitoneum and localize the site of perforated viscous. Wimberger's ring sign scurvy, circular opaque radio radiologic shadow surrounding epiphyseal centers of ossification which may result from bleeding. Frankel lines, scurvy, dense zone of provisional calcification. 
ట్రెమర్ ఫీల్డ్ జోన్ స్కర్వీ ల్యూసెంట్ మెటాఫిజియల్ బ్యాండ్ అండర్లైంగ్ ఫ్రాంకల్ లైన్ పెల్కమ్ స్పర్ స్కర్వీ మెటాఫిజియల్ స్పర్స్ దట్ రిజల్ట్ ఇన్ కప్పింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద మెటాఫైజెస్ పెల్కన్ ఫ్రాక్చర్ స్కర్వీ మెటాఫిజియల్ కార్నర్ ఫ్రాక్చర్ నోన్ కాంట్రాస్ట్ ఎలర్జీ ప్రెగ్నెన్సీ అండ్ యాక్టివ్ పెల్విక్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఆర్ అబ్సల్యూట్ కాంట్రా ఇండికేషన్స్ టు హిస్ట్రో సాల్పిన్ జోగ్రఫీ సెలైన్ ఇన్ఫ్యూజన్ సోనో హిస్ట్రోగ్రఫీ ఎస్ఐఎస్ ఆర్ హెచ్ హెచ్ జి షుడ్ నాట్ బి పర్ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇన్ ఉమెన్ హూ ఆర్ ప్రెగ్నెంట్ ఆర్ హూ ఆర్ సస్పెక్టెడ్ టు బి ప్రెగ్నెంట్ ఆర్ ఇన్ ఉమెన్ విత్ అన్ యాక్టివ్ పెల్విక్ ఇన్ఫెక్షన్ ఎస్ హెచ్ జి ఈజ్ యూజువలీ డన్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద మెన్స్ట్రల్ పీరియడ్ ఫినిషెస్ ఇన్ ఉమెన్ నాట్ మెన్స్ట్రేటింగ్ సచ్ ఎస్ దోస్ ఆన్ మెడికేషన్ సప్రెసింగ్ ద మెన్స్ట్రల్ సైకిల్ పోస్ట్ మెనోపోజల్ ఉమెన్ ఎక్సెట్రా ఇట్ మే బి డన్ అట్ ఎనీ టైమ్ Genitography demonstrates a male or female diaper, urethral configuration and any fistulous communication with the vagina or rectum, thus identifying the exact location where the urethra and the vagina are joined. Radiological IOC for acute pancreatitis, CECT abdomen with oral and IV contrast, usually advised after 72 hours, Balthazar score or CTSI, CT severity index. Unenhanced CT scan showing central dot sign is characteristically seen in Caroli's disease. Ultrasound is the best investi- initial imaging study for Caroli's disease as it shows irregular dilatations of the large intrahepatic ducts. Pure beta emitters, radionuclides are phosphorus 32, strontium 90, yttrium 90 and tritium 30Q whereas and uh, Samarium-153 and Rhenium-186 are mixed beta and gamma emitters. 201 thallium chloride used for non-avid infract imaging, cold spot imaging is the radionuclide agent of choice to assess myocardial viability and to study myocardial perfusion for acute MI. Epidermoid cyst can be differentiated from arachnoid cyst characteristically by hyperintense diffusion weighted images. because of restricted diffusion of epidermoid cyst t2 gradient echo mri is the investigation of choice for identification of cavernous angioma cavernous hemangioma or cavernoma which typically demonstrates a mass characterized as popcorn in appearance mulberry shaped lesion recent non invasive advance to measure cardiac output is electrical impedance cardiograph technology MRCP uses heavily T2 weighted image without contrast to create the three dimensional image of the biliary tree using MIP algorithm. Germinomas are homogeneous and show iso intensity or slightly low signal intensity on T1 weighted images and iso intensity or high intensity on T2 weighted images. Homogeneous paracardiac opacity in right lung near right cardiac ciliate with ill defined lateral border is suggestive of pneumonia affecting medial zone of right middle lobe thank you if you like this video please do watch like share and subscribe